and my friends. So I was working on this rosemary and I thought, I need to video this and share with them how easy it is to make your own dried herbs at home to use in your cooking, in your teas, in whatever you're doing in the kitchen. I already kind of started. So this is my bunch of dried rosemary. Um, it was fresh at one point. I got it from our local farm and when it was fresh, it was beautiful. And what I did was I cleaned it. I dried it and made sure that it was all dry. And then I rubber took the bunches together, sticks together, and I rubber banded. And then over here on this little board that I have, I have some hooks. So I literally just took the rubber band and held, um, hung it up and over the last few weeks, my rosemary has been drying. So now it's ready, it's totally dried. It still smells amazing and fresh. So now I'm going to process it so I can put it in these little cute airtight jars to keep in my pantry, keep in my spice cabinet so we can use them um, in teas, on our chicken, in our pasta sauce, things like that. So what I'm, what I'm simply going to do is, I'm not even gonna try to pull these apart right away. I'm just going to work with some of them. Let me show you. Oh, look how simple that is. Um, I'm just going to kind of, after it's been all dried out, I'm just going to work on getting the leaves away from the stems. So here we have our dried rosemary and now I'm just looking through it. I'm trying to find any little stems that came out of um, the sorting process. It's a few more of these little guys. It's not all my rosemary. I just wanted to stop and show you what I'm going to do with it next. So next what I'm going to do is take these jars. I got these cute little jars at Hobby Lobby actually before they were closed in our state. Um, and I'm just going to use them. I'm gonna use these cute little jars to store our dried rosemary. I may make a couple of them and share them with friends and family so that they can use them in their meals as well. Um, but I wish you could smell this right now because it absolutely smells amazing. So here you have your own little uh, container, your own little spice container of rosemary. I'm just gonna clip that little guy. And you could put a label on it, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory when you gift it, when you have it in your cabinet, when you get into making more varieties, taco seasoning, things like that. You could get a little label maker um, or grease pencil and write it on there. But that is how simple it is to dry your own rosemary. So I hope this was helpful. Last minute, just thought I'd throw this video together for you. If you like this video, let me know and I can do more because there's plenty that I'm always doing in the kitchen to help save us time, money, give us some nourishing, rich food, and homemade's always better. <laughs>